the offices of Dr. Marla Valencia. The tenderizer and Professor Legume sit in the waiting room. Professor Legume is in a foul mood. So, uh, how's the non-villainous life treating you? <laughs> um, uh, did you catch the Wontown Chili's game last night? I, I thought it was very good. Please stop talking. Hello, Professor Legume, the tenderizer. How are you doing today? Sizzling and raring to go. Rotten. I wanted to talk to you both about your current um, career choices. Professor Legume, why do you do the things you do? Uh, simple. I'm trying to make the world vegetarian. Why? So everyone can be under my control. Okay. But once everyone is under your control, what would you have them do? Eat more fruits and vegetables. But that's not a bad thing. That's actually good for people. They live longer and have fewer medical problems. They do? Not to mention that it's much better for the environment. Vegetarianism is more popular now than it used to be, especially given all of the health benefits. Is that why you want people to become vegetarian? To keep them healthy? No. Then why? Because when people become vegetarian, an unconscious part of the mind, the rutabaga aurelium, becomes entirely devoted to- Okay, I'm pretty sure that whatever you just said isn't a thing. It has not yet been discovered by modern neurologists. But when people become vegetarian, their minds come entirely under my control. And how do you know they come under your control? Because they eat more vegetables and less meat, of course. Okay. I think they might have done that anyway. They are vegetarian, after all. Well, I... Er, uh, oh, parsnips. You're too smart not to think of that. So why do you really do what you do? Because... What the, uh, I... <laughs> Because I really love cute animals, okay? I just, I think sheep and cow and pig, they're just, they're so adorable. So you're not a bad guy after all. Now, tenderizer, why do you do what you do? For justice. Okay, but what does that mean? People should be able to eat all the meat they want. But... Eating too much meat is not good for you. It raises your cholesterol and puts you at risk for many diseases. Chumping giblets, has Professor Lagoon put you under his mind control? No, Tenderizer. That's the truth. Hmm. Well, if Health Woman says so, it must be true. Please stop calling me that. So, what's your point, Dr. Valencia? What I'm saying is that I don't think you two have to be a hero and a villain. Oh, oh one town needs a hero. It really doesn't. And being a villain is fun. I don't want to give that up. And I don't want to give up being a hero. We, we decline. decline. Okay, okay. I thought you might say that. So I have another idea. One where you can keep being a villain and a hero, but just don't cause a ruckus like this last time. Hmm. Go on. Dr. Valencia discusses her plan with the professor and the tenderizer. As they listen, they realize that there is indeed a way for them to continue their roles and still do good for society. Why, that's brilliant, health woman. You're a great sidekick. Hmm, I must say, I don't totally hate this idea. That's great. I'll call Lon Donovan. And what was this brilliant idea of health woman? Er, Dr. Valencia? Let's flip on the old television and find out. Do -do 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 -do. Good evening and welcome back to WTTV Studios. For our final story tonight, we're pleased to announce a brand new children's show called The Wacky Adventures of Professor Legume, starring Wontown's own talent, Professor Rutabaga Legume and The Tenderizer. Please enjoy the sneak preview.
Another day in the peaceful city of Wantown, and the people go about their ordinary business and everything is good. But there is a new threat lurking in this city, a mad genius who won't stop until veggies are on everybody's plate. Ha 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 I am Professor Rutabaga Legume. Prepare to fill your plates with asparagus and celery. Who will save us from this nutritional menace? Is there anyone who can stop Professor Legume? Stand aside, citizens. It is I, the Tenderizer. You can't stop the meaty tide of justice. Deep mysteries. Exciting battles. And educational lessons with our own Dr. Marla Valencia. And so we recommend two servings of fruits and three servings of vegetables per day and reducing the amount of meat you eat. Why you? Featuring breakout TV stars, Boy Loney. Holy pastrami, tenderizer. Do I really have to say that? And Satana. The legendary pearl onions shall be mine. The wacky adventures of Professor Legume. Weeknights at 6.30 p.m. only on WTTV. And that's all for WTTV's Evening News. We hope you all have a fantastic evening, and we'll see you tomorrow. Remember to eat your veggies, and that's not mind control. Good night, everybody.